Greetings everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to wash natural dreadlocks, how to condition it very well, how to give this hair a big standing point on growth. A lot of people who have been giving you misinformation or information that is not really, really full about natural dreadlocks, but I want to give you the full package of this. You will thank me later. Just make sure you stick with me for the whole video because you will miss out if you don't stick with me. As you can see, this hair has taken some good time without being washed. She hasn't been around, she has been in the whole days. And as you know, African countries are out of dust. But don't, uh, no worries about that because kids have to be given a chance to play around, have to be given a chance to enjoy their lives. So here, I am going to give you a solution on how to clean this hair so well and how to condition it so that it looks very, very fresh and so that it can grow very well. By the time she removes the, these locks, they will be really, really, very, very long. So please, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to stick with me in the whole process of washing. Just stick with me, tell me anything you don't understand. The comment section is available, just go into this comment section and I'll be right here to reply to anything that you want to know. And if there is anything about natural dreadlocks you want to ask, any question, anything you don't understand, please, the door is very open, ask it, I'll be available to answer you very well. I am JK, as usual, a professional hairstylist and the CEO of Hair Crown UG. Yes, you see the hair, it has to be first wet very well. You have to first apply water before applying hair shampoo. Make sure you apply water. This water is warm. You first have to regulate it with your hands to really get sure that it is warm enough. It shouldn't be too hot and it shouldn't be cold. So what you're doing is first wetting this hair. <laughs> <laughs> what next now? We are going to apply our hair shampoo. After applying shampoo, I'm going to scratch using thumbs. These are the thumbs. You make sure you use your thumbs very well. Be gentle because she's still young. She's just a kid. You don't have to put much energy on her. Be gentle and scratch everywhere. You go around and scratch on the scalp. As well as you also wash the strands. The other day, someone was asking me how many times do you have to apply shampoo. There is no, it's not a mandate that you have to apply this a number of times. No, you apply hair shampoo until the hair is clean. Until you feel like it's really, really, really clean. So the first thing is done. I mean, I'm going to wash out the foam. I'm going to wash out this shampoo with this foam, and I apply again. The water that comes out gives you that exactly the you must do the second or the next step you must do. So if the hair is, if the water comes out is clean, that's an indication that that already the hair is clean. And then you go to another step.
I'm applying shampoo for the second time. But the application is already sure that the hair is almost clean. But of course, you can't apply once. You have to apply at least trace, at least trace, post trace. So I'm applying it for this very second time. And I'm going to do the same thing on the latter. I'm going to change the way I am going to wash or the way I'm going to scratch this off. Just change a little bit. So here I'm scratching my scalp. It's gain time. Okay. I'm feeling good. Yeah, I think if you've been following me very well, I told you that the form, the indication that the hair is almost clean, you know, it's clean, it's going to be shown. So you can see the form, it is almost white, and even the sound comes out of the hair. When I'm scratching, it's so much different. To show you, it indicates you that it's already clean. You can feel the sound, you can hear it, and you can see the form with your own eyes. So, the hair, our hair is clean. I'm going to wash out this foam. And after washing out this foam, this time we're not going to use a conditioner. We are not going to use it because this hair doesn't need to be, it's already, it's, it's not entangled and these are dreadlocks. Uh, we just use a simple treatment as you, as you will see, a living treatment as you will see. Because this is a child, you can't use a uh, moisturizing treatment, which needs a dryer. Someone to sit in a dryer for a long time. We have to use a living, a simple living treatment. So we are washing out. Well, the other thing I didn't tell you about, the other thing I didn't tell you about, when you're finishing washing, you can use cold water, it is very, very okay for natural dreadlocks. It is very, very okay for the hair. So here I'm pouring a little bit of cold water as I reach the climax of washing it, washing the natural dreadlocks. We're almost done. So I am going to I am going to use my towel. This is the treatment we're applying, just a little bit, and then we massage very very well. Thank you for coming along with me. I salute you from wherever you are tuned in. Hope this video was op helpful. If, you, if it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification bell for more videos that are coming up on this channel. 
I told you if you have any questions, go into the comment section and write to me. I'll be right here to reply you. I salute you. I am JK. I love you so much. So if you saw how this hair was looking before washing it, and, re and even now when I'm done with washing it, there is a big, big difference. And you can see now the hair looks fresh and clean. I don't want to make this video too long, but if you want to stick with me, I am going to do repair. You can stick with me in another video, uh, the upcoming video for repair. I'm going to, I'm going to lock it, to lock it very well. I'll be waiting for you to watch me 